Sometimes we forget about those first two things and focus all on the things I've done. I was so used to doing everything in my family. You gotta want to do it, nobody, you can't want to do it for nobody but yourself first. There's a thought out there that I want to welcome everyone to another episode of Grubbin' with G, and it's uh, my pleasure to have an all-star with us, <laughs> uh, a, a legend in the making right now. Harold Perkins has joined us, and um, Harold, thank you so much for, for being part of the team, and thank you so much for, for joining me today for lunch. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah. Also, I have my son, John Gordon, here, and we're at Harold's favorite place to eat. Uh, that's Dorothy's, yes. and I have the owner with us right here. Um, she just told me she's not the original Dorothy. So, Dorothy, why don't you introduce yourself, tell everybody about yourself a little bit. Okay, I'm Dorothy's number two. I'm her first child. I came here to Louisiana for college, and I really am a news reporter and do all this, <laughs> but... I ended up, when mommy passed, I had to take over the shop. I had to learn everything quick and do it. So we've been here now since 1998, and we're still here. And we open Thursday through Sunday from 11 to 6, and we do all varieties of soul food, baked chicken, smothered pork chops, fried fish, barbecue ribs, mm. collard greens, <laughs> and we cook everything from scratch. Oh. We don't do no canned food, none of that. None of that? Oh, no. Oh, no, that's no, no, awesome. No, no, no. All right, so for everybody who knows, you're at 1221 Gardier. 1221 Gardier Lane, right. Baton Rouge. Real easy to find, easy. Right, off, right off of Gardier. Right off Gardier yeah. and Burbank. And um, Monday, I said Monday through, we close Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, right. so we're not here. So are these all your recipes, or were these mom's recipes? Well, a lot of them are mom's, but I've been cooking for, since I was nine, so right. they're mine's also. <laughs> right, so I got a question I asked you. So. You know, your mom had her recipes, yes. and, and then you took it over one day. Did you kind of put a little twist on mom's recipe, or did you just stay to, true to mom? No, I put my own little twist. I, like that. I put my own little twist. Uh -huh. And there's still some things she took with her that she didn't give me. <laughs> she didn't tell you. No, That's she what didn't tell me. Did. Like them homemade tea cakes. Yeah. She all took that with her. <laughs> all great chefs kind of hold back a little bit. Harold, what's your? what are your some of your favorite things you like here? Uh, I'm coming here. I'm getting a fried. Uh, if I'm not getting fried chicken, I'm getting smothered pork chops, uh, gravy and rice, macaroni and cheese and yams. Wow. So what are you weighing right now? Right now I'm two twelve. Two twelve. Yeah. And after you walk out of eating here, you're about two fourteen or so, and you just a couple gained, pounds of eating. Yeah, I gained about like three more pounds. <laughs> All right. And what is your what is your ideal playing weight when you two twenty? Two twenty. Yeah. So you'll try to bulk up a little bit. Get ready for 220 for the season? Oh, yeah, for sure. When you bulk up those extra eight pounds, do you feel like it slows you down at all? Nah, I just feel like right now is like this is the time I need to be running around with the weight on me so I can get used to it. I yeah. feel like it'll yeah. only be different if you just jump at it and try to play at it. Okay. Yeah, well, good. So um, you guys know what you want to eat, or do you just want to bring us a sampling, or how y'all want to do it? I already know what I want. All right, he wants some other pork chops. Yeah, I already know what I want. <laughs> All right, what you ordering with the smothered pork chop? Yams, greens, okay, well, we get I got the yams, macaroni and cheese, and gravy and rice. Okay. All right, John Gordon, JG, what you want to eat? Well, I was looking at that smothered chicken, but the way he's talking about this pork chop, I think I'm also gonna get the smothered pork chop, but I'm gonna do cabbage, uh, rice, and gravy. Okay. And that's fine. All right, okay. we got about five, six people off a of set here. So I want to make sure we okay, feed all well, of them. Well, I right? need to get my flex and put them on so yeah, I have my tickets yeah, because I'm sure. not going to memorize no, all, right. all that. We'll just we'll take our three okay. and then, but we want to make okay. sure everybody has an opportunity. Oh, yes, yes. Offset, you can't see the five or six people that are making all this come to life, and they yes. do a great job. Yes. So I'm, because, uh, you know, nothing against my wife. I love my wife to death, but she ain't ever smothered a, smothered a pork chop in her life. I can okay. promise you that. <laughs> She's baked a chicken, but I can promise she never smothered a pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. so, you're going to have to smell the pork I'm chop? I'm going to have some other pork chop. Okay. I want some, some greens, okay. some cabbage, and rice and gravy, okay. please. Okay, cabbage and green. Okay, yes, I got you. I got you. He wants yes, cabbage. And you, yeah. Okay, I got you. And okay, yes, give me a few minutes. Water or tea or whatever yes, you got. Yes, we drink. have some water sweet. in there, right. cooler. We'll, we'll drink water. Food. We got sweet home tea that we make here ourselves. Okay. We make our own tea. Would you like well, some tea? No, water's fine. Water? I'll, I'll try I'll try some tea. Tea? That's your picture? No, that's my mom. That's mom. I put her on here. She's the founder. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Mm hmm Yes. Uh, how old is your mom? Oh, she would have been 80. Oh. But she died at 68. Oh. Mm -hmm. Way too yeah. soon, huh? Yeah. She yeah. just went. She wasn't ill, sick, or anything. She okay. just went home. All right. Yeah. Well, okay. Th thanks I'll so much, Dorothy. It's a pleasure you. to be here. You too.
All right, Harold, I'm sure you've seen some of the other bits and pieces, some of the other videos. Well, thank you. With, uh, you know, like we did one with Mason and yeah. do one with other guys. And all we're here to do is to try to get the people of Louisiana to know you more, right? To know you from a, a position they may not know you from, right? They can watch you on the field, do the stuff you do. They can read about you in the program. But it doesn't really tell the folks of Louisiana who you are, kind of, you know, funny things about you, things you like, things you dislike. So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to freewheel it and talk, eat some food, have a good time. How's that sound? Sounds amazing. All right, so I want to I want to go back a ways because uh, I know you were you were uh, born and raised a little bit in New Orleans, and then you had to leave New Orleans because of Katrina. And how old would you have been when you left because of Katrina? I was probably like two or three. Okay, so you really don't have a have a memory of of New Orleans much. Ooh. You when you're born, when two or three, right? Oh no, 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 I do, I do. I got memories, but I'm, I'm thinking you was asking me about Katrina. No, 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 not. Do you remember Katrina at all? No, I just remember water. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just remember water. Water and walking through it. That's uh -huh. what it is. Really? Uh, and when Katrina hit, who were you living with? Oh, my mom. We always in New Orleans. Katrina, the reason I went to Texas. I knew that. I knew yeah. that. So just y'all two in the house or anybody else? No, I got, mom, I got five siblings on my wow. mama's side and I got two on my pop's side. Right. So when the, when the hurricane hit, how many were in the house? How many people? It was five, it was six of us, but when when not, when we left, my mama took, I think, five of us, four of us, because my, my other two brothers was older. Uh huh. And so you all had to just walk through the water, that rising water that everybody saw. Everybody in New Orleans was walking through yeah. water. Yeah, that was some crazy times. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I assume your mama had no idea where she was going to end up, but just knew she had to get out. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. I ain't gonna lie, it yeah. was crazy. All right, and so you settled outside of Houston. Is that where y'all went? We was, we was in Houston. Okay, in Houston. All right, and uh, how was that experience living in Houston for, what, about 15 years or so, huh? Um, when I was younger, I didn't like it. Uh -huh. Only because I was just like, I was so used to doing everything with my family. I right. played ball, everything. New Orleans is park ball, so we was out there playing ball. And then when I moved to Houston, my mom, I was I wasn't playing ball with my uh, right. my cousins and all yeah. that no more. So I was like, yeah, I don't want to play football no more. So I didn't, I just started going to school out there, and then one day a ba AAU basketball coach named uh, Larry Lamette, he seen me. I was probably one of the tallest kids in the gym, and then yeah, I got to working on basketball. I wasn't playing football. Huh. What grade was that? Middle school, like seventh grade, sixth grade, something like that. When did you when did you start playing football then? No, I've been playing football. Oh, you had been playing football. Yeah, I just stopped because I was I was in Houston. I ain't want I'm I'm used to doing everything with my cousins and stuff. Right. So now I gotta meet new people, right. do everything all over. And I'm the type of person like I'm good by myself. Like I'm 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 to myself, so like I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So uh everybody wanna know. So coming up in junior high and high school, were you better at basketball or football? I was an athlete. You're just an athlete. No, I was, yeah. Uh huh. And, and basketball, what position you play? I was a two and a three. Okay. But you liked having the ball. I can just tell the way. Yeah, you I like shooting the ball. <laughs> like everything. Uh huh. So, you, what age did you stop playing basketball? I ain't really stopped playing basketball. It was more so like my train of thought, um, um, like what I was doing, just because like my family and everything. Me, like I had people in my family that that could have been where I'm at in this position. So me just knowing that, it's like I can't mess up because not only am I I'm, I'm living I'm living my dream, right. but I'm living my I'm living people yeah. in my family dream too. So tell talk a little bit more when you say they could have been where you're at, but obviously they're not. What what happened? Why 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 aren't they? Um, like if it's because of their mistakes or whatever, they just ain't at this point that I'm at. Right. And Thank you. Obviously, in my family, I ain't got to the farthest point, so I just got to keep going. Uh huh. Where is all your family now? Where is your, your brothers, sisters, your mom? My my mom in Houston with like five of my siblings and the rest of my people in New Orleans. Like I got aunties in Houston, but like all my family in New Orleans. Uh -huh. So uh, if if you were had to put on a T-shirt, I'm going to give you, yeah, I was going to say 225, 504, or 713? 504. 504. So now you're going to the number four. That kind of works, huh? 504 and the four. Yeah, man. What do you think about that? <laughs> 
It's gonna be a show this year. Yeah. For sure. That's Thank pretty you. pretty cool. You get to wear four, right? Yeah. That's Ooh. my favorite number. Yeah. That's like Flage. You know Flage? Yeah, I know Flage. She, she's all about the four. <laughs> she's everywhere and everything she does. She's holding up the just the four like that all the time. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's cool. She's a really nice young lady. Yeah, I like Flyzy. She's gonna have she's gonna have a big future. Um, so wearing four this season, what does that mean to you? Anything different, or you think you have more responsibility because of it, or or how does that hit you? Um, it's no different for me. I just right. play my you game. Just play. Yeah, you like just yeah, it ain't that ain't too much to it. You just gotta play ball, but four is just I just stand on a lot of that. I got it even tatted on me right here. What's that? What uh, I got my arm. I got a 4TF. That stands for for the family. For the family. You know, everything right. I do is for them. Let me see. So you got you got a couple. What's your what's your favorite tattoo you got? This is my favorite one. And then I got right here on my arm going up. I got different. What is that one? Different. Yeah, it's different. got different tattoos. It's different. On me. I just say different. And you got some cards. Uh, this is my mom, man. Her name and stuff. What's your mom's name? Her name Bertha. B E R T H A. I see that. Then I got my name right here. Okay. Perk. And then right here I got humble. Humble, good. Uh, and then I got five hundred four right here. Yeah. See, one thing about your arm compared to mine, if I was wanting to get tattoos, I could probably only get one because mine aren't real big, right? <laughs> so you can you can you got a lot of a lot of space to put the ink, right? I yeah. couldn't do it. I could get like one little small tattoo on one side, and one little small tattoo. Taylor got a tattoo on him. See, he's got he got one riding down there. But he's got Taylor's got pretty good arms. Look at him flexing on you. <laughs> you know what? He went to the gym this morning right before here and started doing a bunch of curls. So he come here all swole. Yeah, he I did. see him. He, that, that's the way he rolls. Yeah, he's showing the list on. Oh, I think his shirt too small. Yeah, that's what he does. That's what he does. You know, you got to watch his workout videos that he posts. They're pretty good. He'll get after it. Um, so, but back to it. So, back in high school, <clears throat> multi-sport athlete, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a, a rumor out there at, at LSU that if they really need a running back for a drive, all right, we we just we got to we got to pound the ball. We got to pick up yards. We just got to we got to keep it going. Um, nothing against our other running backs who are some great running backs, right? But there's a thought out there that uh, if Harold Perkins carried the ball, it'd be pretty fun to watch. What do you think about that? I think I think the same way. Uh -huh. I think it'd be fantastic. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think uh, I don't think Coach House and uh, I don't <laughs> think Coach House going for it. Uh -huh. Have they ever tried you in practice? And all right, get back there. Or you just try to jump in there one time, kind of sneak in line. I might need to do that. I you might just to, need to just go. You, I'm gonna just go to the. You ought to side. trade jerseys with one of the running backs right before practice. A, this is what I'm gonna do. And then run out there and just when they go to the running back drills until it'll take them. A, you probably get a few carries in it. Nah, Coach Frank gonna notice. He'll notice right. Well, he probably ain't gonna say nothing though. He probably gonna keep That'd it on the down low. Uh huh. There's, a, uh, there's also a rumor that you've been trying to angle to return kicks. Is that true? Mm-hmm. I heard I that. I'm just, just trying to get the ball in my hand. That's it. They got, you got any chance of doing that, you think? I don't know. I've been in my uh, special teams coach a lot, yeah. trying to get them to let me do it. I think, you know, we open up against Florida State this year. <clears throat> um, it'd be pretty cool on the opening. I don't know if you like to do punts or kicks. Which would you rather do? I don't really matter, but I prefer a uh, kickoff. Yeah, on a kickoff to see you run out there number four for the beginning of the season on the goal line and see what would happen. I'm trying to think if there's ever a linebacker that has ever returned kicks. No, I, I, doubt, I doubt there's not. Huh? That would be fun. If there were to be one, it'd be put my money on him. So yeah. back, back in high school, you're playing linebacker and running back during the game, right? Mm -hmm. You're playing all game long, every play pretty much. Uh, pretty much every game. <laughs> every game, every my, play. I played. I play linebacker. I play offense and defense. My uh, throughout high school. Yeah, y'all's high school team was good. We was straight. My first year, we, well, it was a new school, so like my first year, they ain't won a lot of games. Second year, we got better, and we went to the playoffs. And then uh, our third year, we went undefeated. Okay. Well, my senior year, we went undefeated. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So in a game. You're you're making tackles on defense, and you get up after the series over, and you go over to offense, yeah. and then you start running the ball. Yeah, basically. Uh, <clears throat> so, what was your your best high school game, both from an offensive standpoint and from a defensive standpoint? Um, tell tell everybody out there, like, would it be a really good game for you? That's a good question. Like, how many tackles or interceptions or ran for 222 yards in this game? Or I think. Only thing I remember from my, uh, really from me running the ball, well, once that I remember, is like my senior year, 
I had like I think almost twenty one yards of carry. <laughs> I think. How does that even? Yeah, twenty one yards of carry. Yeah, and I, yeah. It was it was it was a crazy number though. It was yeah. like 20, 20 or twenty one one. Right. Uh -huh. uh, that's like. What about defense? How I many? Best defense, game. Defense, my I feel like my, my best game offensively and defensively overall was against um so the quarterback that's at AM right now. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Ooh. All right, you need to zoom in and get get a picture of a couple of these things where we're gonna show everybody. Oh, you we know we are. Cornbread. All right, we got a little cornbread <laughs> on top. This is not store bought cornbread, right? Okay, just making sure. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Mm. Look at that. This looks like what I eat at home. <laughs> uh, exactly. Thank you, baby. Thank we gotta uh, we gotta say our grace. Yeah, we gotta say grace. You want me to say it? Or you want to say it? You say it. I think uh, it's like good. We hold hands in my family. Y'all do it like this? Yeah, we do this in football because football. We still gotta eat our food. That's right. I like that. All right. So uh, everybody bow their head, close their eyes. Um, Lord, we ask you to forgive us for all our sins. Um, bless the cook that made this food and let this food help and nourish our body. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Thank you. amen. amen. I like how you, you started off with that, with forgive us of our sins, because we forget about that a lot of time, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Wrongs every day we do. All right, so uh, Taylor won't make us look bad, so if you're slurping up a bite of food as you're talking, <laughs> he's not going to let us look bad, right, Taylor? Mm. Yeah, that's legit. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Just like mom. Yeah, just like mama. Mama actually cooked a little gravy and rice, but she can't smother their, smother their pork chop. I don't know if she's ever tried. She puts it in one of those crock pots. You know, you, you put it all in the morning, you turn the button like on, the, and like the little slow, go, the little slow cook. Yeah, you can't you can't overcook it, which is I can't say that. Um, but all day long, and it sits there and it gets it cooked and then keeps it warm. So we do that. Uh, so back in. Back in uh, high school, you're running for yards, you're, you're ta making tackles everywhere. Uh, when did all the attention and notoriety come to you? Because you were the four fourth ranked player your senior year in, in the country, not just by your fourth ranked linebacker, I'm talking the fourth ranked uh, person in the country, all positions. When did you kind of know? Hmm, when did you start feeling it? Well, I don't think a lot of people really know this, but I actually quit football. What? Yeah, I thought I was going to the NBA. <laughs> well, really, really, I ain't gonna say that. My, just me. I'm just, I'm just thinking like, man, I just gotta find a way to just get what I want. So it's like either it's just gonna be football or basketball. Mm -hmm. But I was just on the on the time and like whichever one come first. Mm -hmm. So like, what year was that? You quit football? What grade? Freshman year. Freshman year. Yeah, I quit. Oh man. Yeah. You didn't play that season. Dorothy, you're no, so played. good. good? It's you. great. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I played, but after I had quit because I just wanted to play basketball. And for the football players, once it's football season over, you got off season. So I'm like, yeah, it's over. I got to, because I was doing AAU basketball outside of a uh, school ball. So what were you in an AAU team? What were you averaging wise or freshman year basketball to make you think I'm good enough to play NBA basketball and give up football? I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. I got I worked at basketball though. I wasn't just good at it. Yeah. Yeah, I got coach had got me right. So if you and I go out in the driveway. You're gonna lose. And, no, I ain't playing. You too fast. Oh, but right, we just gonna right, do some right. shooting around. Play yeah, a game I got of a horse. Shot. I'm a left. You left? That's all right. I, yeah. I don't make you shoot right. You don't make me shoot left. <laughs> and no dunking. That's good. Because that, that's not gonna happen. No, this is an eight foot goal. <laughs> but uh when we go out and play a little game of horse and pig, you think you'll take me? Yeah, I think okay. I can get you. We might have to. You think you can get him? I know I can get him. <laughs> but I also might be one of the better shooters you've ever seen. So. <laughs> All right. mm. I don't know. Last, last time me and him played horse was like a long time ago, and I, he actually might have beat me. Yeah, I could shoot back in the day. But I'm getting a little older. <laughs> so, All right, so you, you thought about giving up uh, football. You're focused on basketball. Yeah, I went to my coach. So this is the crazy part. He gave me like a little 24-hour rule to like make my mind up and come back. I like that. But like me, I'm the type of person like if I if I if I bring something to you, then I already got my mind made up. Right. So I was just like, nah, I don't need 24 hours. He was right. just looking at me like, <laughs> like I'm done with it or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I went to basketball, 
basketball season a little bit. Now it's time for us to go back to football. So I'm like, damn, football season started to roll back up. So I'm just sitting there, I'm in basketball, I'm watching like all my partners and stuff. They are over there in football locker room. I'm like, damn. Hey, you miss it. Yeah, I'm starting to miss it. So I had to go back. I went back and I talked to coach. He was like, he basically was like, well, you know, you quit. So just because you won't come back don't mean I'm about to let you come back. So, you know, I had to work for it. And we had this little, we had these groups. It was like Alpha. Alpha was the highest rank. I know that. And then like, it was another one. I think it was Charlie. Yeah, Charlie was like one of the lowest ones. So they, they put me in Charlie. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if you're in Charlie, basically like boot camp. Right, right. So yeah. You made you earn your way back. Yeah, so I earned my way back up. And then yeah, I was back on the team. Okay. Hmm. You had a good sophomore year in football in high school? Yeah. Yeah. When did all the, the, the national attention show up to you? Because we uh, ranked I would that say, high. I would say right after, I'd say right before, right, I was doing COVID actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was during COVID. Did you run a fast 40 time or something? What really got people focused on you? To be honest, I don't really know. I just think, I don't know, to be honest. I just got to getting phone calls. My, I just got so, to smile. Let me ask you, <clears throat> speaking of the 40 time, what do you think your 40 time is? You know, laser timed or hand timed, however you want to say it. Four three for sure. Four three for sure. Yeah. So if you line up, we well, got how many guys on scholarship? Eighty five is roughly, and you got walk ons there. You got hundred players on the team. Let's say that all lined up one hundred one hundred across. Who's in the top five on the team coming up this season? Mm, well, do me that, huh? And, I'm, and then I'm gonna ask you to, who's first, who's second, who's third. Obviously, I ain't gonna say nobody over me. <laughs> so right now, you want to tell the people of Louisiana who love LSU football and are following you that you might be the fastest guy on the LSU football team. Nah, uh, the fastest, I feel like top three. I ain't going to say top three. It's, it's, it's a quite a few of us. I'll give you some names. Like who else would be in the conversation? Major, Major Burns, yep. Chris Hilton, um, Aaron, Aaron Anderson. Yep. Um, who else? Um, how many people I said? Major, Aaron, Chris. Chris. I think Malik. Malik got faster too. Yeah. Malik. Malik. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably be it. Probably. I don't know. All right. Not Emory and Will. They're probably. They're probably. <laughs> Emory and Will. <Bill's> <laughs> they, they're not in that group. Okay. Um. So, question. Another question. You know, there, there's there's track speed. What they time and there's closing speed or game speed. Mm-hmm. Anybody have better closing or game speed than you? You think on the team? I think mm-hmm. you asking me my opinion. No, I think you might be right because <clears throat> we all remember. I think what it changed in my mind for you after you had a great game against Alabama and you're doing a bunch of stuff there. And uh, but that Arkansas game, um, you weren't feeling well, right? Yeah, I wasn't feeling. That well. was the flu game for you. Right? Exactly. We're feeling good. And they had that, I think they, I don't remember when they changed quarterbacks, but they had a quarterback in that was one of the fastest guys on their team. If you remember the play, and he scrambles out to your side, and all of a sudden he's, there's pretty good space between y'all. You accelerate and run him down like that. Everybody looked, just kind of looked around like, did he just chase the fastest guy down on their team like it was nothing? It was game speed, right? So your game speed is something different. Coaches that tell you that, I'm sure. I don't know. <laughs> coaches, I don't, our coaches, they, they they smooth. But I just, when I'm out there, I don't be thinking. I just, I just be like, see ball, get the ball. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they kind of use you differently as the season progressed. Kind of, I guess, mm-hmm. Coach Kelly, who I know, I like him a lot. I guess he wanted to trust, be able to trust you and make sure that, see what he's going to do. Did you kind of feel that as well? Um, yeah, at first, uh... Were you frustrated a little bit at first? Like, you thought you could do a lot more than they were allowing you to do early? Yeah, because me, me just being me and coming, coming from a school where I did everything, and now I have to, like, kind of, like, play a role. I'm not used to playing a role. I'm used to being, like, one of the guys that's, you know. So I had to, I think that was, like, something I learned how to do was to actually, like, play a role, because I never been, like, a role player on the team. Right. Well, it was... He was probably teaching you something. You got to patience. Right. You got to learn. You right. got to mature. Right. So that was that was 
like one thing I learned from from that was like you know. So. You like Coach Kelly? Yeah, I like Coach Kelly for sure. You do? Yeah. yeah. I hear nothing but good things about him from. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he seems out. He seems like he knows how to run a complete program, and yeah. you got to do that now because, as you know, college football is big business now, right? And you got to be able to promote that business and keep everything in check and still teach the players and motivate the players. And he seems like he's he's got a good balance of that. Yeah, he balanced that very well. I don't feel like I don't feel like he he does too much. I don't feel like he do too less. Like it's a great balance in between. Yeah. He get excited though a little bit. Yeah, I like I like when he get excited. Yeah, he get excited. He can get going. Uh-huh. Uh, who are some of the other coaches out there you're close to and you like? Um, I like Coach Jancic. That's our new special teams coordinator. That's my dog. We like this. Okay. He was the one who helped me with a lot of stuff besides Coach House. But like, yeah. you know, Coach House is our defensive coordinator. Right. So he can't really be do a lot of one-on-one stuff with me. So yeah, he had Coach Jancic. Uh, Coach Jancic helped me out a lot with a lot of different stuff. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. <clears throat> and stepping back a second, when you were coming out of high school, you had committed to A and M for a little while there. Yeah. Right? What was that about? And what changed your mind? Um. And no. <laughs> and them a great school. Um, coach Jimbo is a great coach. It just wasn't a good fit for me. Like, just me when I go there and I visit. Like, I'm the type of person, like, I, I get bored fast. Yeah. So, like. There ain't much to do there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, it ain't a lot of, it ain't a lot of stuff to do out there. Mm-hmm. And then um, another thing was just, like, I just got to looking back at, like, what they did on paper as far as linebackers go. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't see like a lot of linebackers. I, I haven't seen a first round linebacker that they took, that got took from, out, from over there. Yeah. So I was like, I don't think this would be a good fit for me. And then home was always an option. Coming back to LSU right. was always an option. LSU was going to be on my top regardless. Right. And then uh, once they got Coach House and Coach BK, they just that sealed, sealed it. Sealed it. it. Yeah. Who else were you thinking about after you decided to decommit from? From Texas A&M. Uh, it was either, it was gonna be uh it was it was either gonna be Florida, or LSU. Okay. No, well, I think I speak for all of Louisiana faithful. We're glad you you decided here. Oh yeah, most definitely. Mm-hmm. All right. So, <clears throat> looking at the polls coming for this season, looks like. Guys are ranked about seventh or so. You know, finished what fifteenth last year. Uh, what you thinking for this year? What poll are you talking about? ESPN. Oh, Some, one poll at three. One poll at twelve. We don't look at. We don't look at any that. We don't look at none of that. At the end of the day, everybody still got to put their pads and their cleats on and go play. So I don't even pay attention to like. You don't pay attention to that. To like yeah, to like rankings and all that. Cause at the end of the day, we all got to play. That's just opinions. The uh, being a year older now and watching, you know, through spring and coming through the summer. I know y'all can't organize organize practice, but you still get together. Some mm-hmm. team looks better, stronger. Yeah, I feel like our team a lot stronger this year, defensively. I can't speak for the offense because yeah, Big Mason will be there. Yeah, that changed everything, don't it? Changes everything a lot. <laughs> yeah, so that's when when I'm talking to people who are supposed to know things about football. And I talked to him about LSU and the, and the players. The, the two names that pop out really quickly are you and Mason, right? They just different. I'm like, well, I, you sure Mason? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's bad. And Malik, I was with dinner at him one night. And he talks about sometimes at practice, like the, uh, they'll basically have to take Mason out because he's too disruptive, too fast off the ball, gets to the quarterback too fast. Is that all true? Yeah. yeah. That'll make your job easier. Most definitely make my job way easier. Yeah. I think he'll make a lot of people's job yeah. easier. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's such a nice guy too. Yeah, Look, everybody. Ho- hopefully he stays healthy. Yeah, people see Mason and probably think he mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Vice versa with me. Like people see me, like I don't like I, I smile, but like I'll be really chilling, like. Yeah, you chill during the game. Yeah, I'll be cool. I remember I came up one I don't know what game it was, I can be in a Bama game. And you were just pedaling. It was the band. You were pedaling on the bike, and I came up and uh, just kind of tapped you on the back. You just looked chill, 
Turned mm. around, smiled, and that was it. it was, yeah. you were, not like you were about to go in against Alabama. You were just, I'm relaxed. It's all good, right? Yeah. Oh. That's just me. I just be cooler. Uh -huh. Stand level-headed and stuff. So when you're not playing football, what are you doing? What do you like to do? Video games. I be on the game a lot. You better card? What do you be playing? Oh, he just says he's the best at everything. Literally, he says he's the best. He does a lot of 2K and Madden. He said yeah. he's the best at 2K and Madden on the team. And then Trey Morgan, the first baseman, also says he's the best. And th those two are supposed to play each other in some sort of little tournament sometime. Yeah, I need to add me to the tournament. <laughs> All right, Taylor, I think we got a little Get Gordon uh, video tournament of the top athletes and we could stream it and let people, you know, bet on it and all sorts of things like that. So what what, what games do you play? I'll be on, I like I like a lot of violent games. So I'll be on Call of Duty. Really, that's really the game I like to play. That's one. After Call of Duty is Madden, then 2K. Madden and 2K, they be flopping a little bit. But for sure, Call of Duty a lot. All right. All right, so you you're playing video games, and then you obviously have workout, school, that. You're doing well in school? Oh, most definitely. What are you studying? I'm doing uh, sports management. Huh? So one day you finish with your pro career, right? And independent of how much money you make. Um, what you want to do with that sports management degree? Early to what I learned is about what I've been in college. Since I've been in college, a lot of people don't even really use their degrees. Right. So, like... My my whole like when I'm done playing, my my whole mindset is to be like Shaq, like a Shaq. Yeah, I like I like the way Shaq an got entrepreneur, everything. right? Yeah, I like the way he got everything set up. And yeah, he's pretty smart. Yeah, with it, he is. He's he's built a good empire, you know, mm -hmm. so to speak, of business and and all that. I, I like how he talks to his kids. He's like, "You ain't rich. Yeah. Yeah. Make him work for stuff." He does. He he makes him work. That's good. I like that. Yep. I'm good. You still play basketball or any other pickup sports or do anything when you're not playing video games? I pick up a basketball every once in a while, but I'd really be just be cool and I'd be so wore out from workouts and right. stuff like that. So once I get time to myself, I'd just be on the game while I'm sleeping. Are the uh, college workouts a lot harder than your high school workouts? Yeah, I feel like high school, like high school workouts, I ain't really like work out, but I worked out. In college, it's more intense. But once you get used to it, you'll be good. Okay. Gotten stronger and faster, you feel, in college? Most definitely got stronger really? and faster. Really? It's a huge jump. Yeah. It's a huge jump. Okay. Um, we're going to have to wrap up here in a minute. A couple more things. Um, nickname. <laughs> What's your nickname? My nickname, Perk. That's what I thought. But uh, I've been seeing a lot of nicknames on the internet. Really? Like what else? I seen um I seen one of them was called the Percolator. <laughs> <laughs> I seen another one on um, uh, this was my when I had the forty jersey. They called me a uh, Perk Forty. I seen another one when it was like the uh, oh, I think LSU had made that video Tasmanian Tasmanian Devil yep. oh, something yeah, like that. that. I've been seeing a few. I've been seeing a few of them. And you've got some of your own merchandise, right? Now. Yeah. So tell everybody where your merchandise is and what it's about, what prompted you to do it. My, my merchandise is just about me. Um, it's just like shirts, um, my face on it. Um, I got sweaters. I got sweatpants, socks. About to come out with some women tees. Can't forget about the women. Nope. Yeah. Can't ever do that. Yeah, my advisor been on my trail about the women's shirts. She's like, how you come out with all these men's shirts? <laughs> Don't get no women. I was like, right, I got you. Yeah. How would people, if they want to buy your stuff, where would they go? Um, You could just type in the official, uh, HaroldPerkins.com, or you could just go to my Instagram, and it'll be in my bio. Okay, well, good. So you're already an entrepreneur yourself. Yeah. Already starting to do it. Yeah. Well, that's good. All right, so, Harold, I might ask you some few advice type questions. All right. You got some uh, young young kid, eight, nine, 10, 12, whatever. He wants to be where you are in, in a sport, in college, um, whether it's basketball or football or what have you. What advice would you would you give to a, a young kid? First, uh, I'll ask him like, is this something that you want to do? Or you just want to do it just because you see your friends? Right. Or just because you just see me? Right. Cause you gotta want to do it. Nobody, you can't want to do it for nobody, but yourself first. And then I ask him. Um, I tell him, once you got your mind made on it, 
stay on it, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, like, they they set their mind to stuff and then they don't finish it or they don't do it. And then just, and now another thing I tell them is, uh, just remember it's gonna get tough. Mm -hmm. right? And you probably ain't gonna be able to see your people a lot. Right. So you just gotta know what you're doing it for and then that'll help you keep going. I think I, I think I would th say that that was hunger. You got to be hungry. You got to want it yourself, right? Yeah. Right. And then you got to be uh, persistent. You know, because you got to keep at it. And then uh, you got to be dedicated. If it's gonna get tough, you got to just you got to keep at it again, right? Thanks. That was good. That's good life. Look, good life advice. Um, so, uh, kind of wrap this up. At the beginning, you asked to pray, which I'm very thankful for because we do usually do that during these grubbing episodes, right? We, uh, we pray. And, um, tell me about your, your, your church life, your faith. It's smooth. I be praying and talking to God before I go to sleep. I pray sometimes in the morning. Mm -hmm. When I get up on time, if I ain't up <laughs> on time, then I be rushing out the door. Yeah. But, uh, and then at, uh, at LSU, we got our own like team chapel. Good. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, your mama was a church? She went to church? Yeah, my whole family. Just go to church? Yeah. Mm, that's good. Yeah, we strong faith in God. That's sure. good. Yeah, I was reading something yesterday, and this applies to all of us, um, but they, they talk about people who end up successful in life, and a lot of people attribute success to themselves, but there are two huge factors that you have nothing to do with, right? Where you're born mm -hmm. and who you're born to, meaning you know, if you're born in the middle of nowhere, nowhere, China, Africa, where it, it can't control, can't it. control it. That's number one. Number two, I know you probably worked hard to be fast, but your parents gave you some certain gifts, right? Um, I just have a feeling you're probably faster than me, right? right. And so uh, Shaquille, seven foot one, he didn't he didn't work to be seven one. He just ended he up was, seven one. So blessed to be seven one. Now <laughs> the, the last part of this is choices, right? You do have personal choices which right. affect that, but where we're born, right, and who we're born to, we have no control over those things. The only thing we control are our personal choices. So uh, I'm glad that you have humble on your arm because those first two things you didn't do anything for. You only do the personal choices to work hard and do those things. But sometimes we forget about those first two things and focus all on the things I've done, and that makes us diminish God because he's the one who, who put us where we were born, right, and he's the one who put us who our parents were. So it all, all the all the acknowledgement and glory should go back to God, not to ourselves. So, for sure, most definitely. Yeah. So, I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, with humble on your arm and asking for prayers, that was as meaningful to me as anything we've had today that you and I have talked about. So that was that meant something. So thank you. Thank Keep you setting that you. example out there. All right.